This is meant to be a quick tutorial on how to change your AT&T router password that tends to be a really long complicated password uh, but I would guess that it would work fairly similarly on any given internet or cable providers router. Um, I'm also going to be doing this via PowerPoint so that I can black out certain information that I don't want made public and that's why you're getting this kind of weird screen view. But what you're going to do is look on the sides of your router. In the case of AT&T, it's on the left side over here. And when you turn that router, you're going to see uh, this little panel that gives you some information. The Wi-Fi password is going to be the long, intricate password that you're trying to change. And then you're going to see an IP address based web address here and then a device access code. To make the change on your given router you're going to want to definitely remember these two numbers. So it's easy just to take a picture of the side of your router like I did here but you're definitely going to need this web address and your device access code. Once you have those or those bits of information go to your computer or your phone and type in that given web address with the IP address and you're going to get a screen that looks like this here. The next step is to click this Wi-Fi link that uh, mentions modify security or send settings. So I would imagine if you don't have an AT&T, you're going to look for something that says security or password um, and click on that. And when you do that, you're going to get a screen. Well, you're not going to quite get this screen. You're going to get a screen that requests your access code. So that other number that I told you would be important to remember, you're going to need to input it. And then once you do that and click OK, you're going to get this screen here that is scrollable. And you're going to want to scroll down. This particular screen has a lot of personal information on it, so I haven't shared it here. But when you do it on your given computer, you're going to see three instances of your router's complicated password that you're trying to change. In those three boxes, you're going to change it to whatever you want to change your Wi-Fi password to be. And then you're going to hit save. And then your new password that is easier to remember will now be in effect in your computer network. One of the key things to remember that kind of threw me off is that um, any device within your home that is connected to your Wi-Fi router will need to uh, re-log into that Wi-Fi with the new password. So if you have things like a thermostat or a doorbell that are connected to that internet, you're going to have to remember to re-log those in or re-install um, those devices. So hopefully this helps if you have an AT&T router or any router for that matter um, to um, find your way through the settings process to change your password. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps.